Hey guys, so it is that time of year again. The best time of the year is time for the Sephora VIB sale. So I have like a million things I could obviously recommend to you guys to get during the sale. But to make this a little bit simplified and not like all over the place, I'm gonna kind of like break it down in categories and go through the things that just like really stick out to me, some like um, staples maybe, and then also like go through the holiday sets and stuff and just let you guys know the ones that I would recommend and the ones that stick out to me the most. Um, that includes some things maybe that I've tried or that are on my wish list. So let's go through this and I'm going to start with, I have like a whole <laughs> list here written down so I don't forget anything. Alright, I'm just going to start by mentioning the skincare category because I feel like during the VIB sale is a good time to stock up on like skincare products that are a little bit more pricey maybe. But since like skincare is such like a personal kind of thing, it's hard for me to recommend like certain products because everyone has like such a different skin type. So I'm going to recommend like a few brands for you guys to look into for um, skincare if that's something you're looking to pick up during the sale. So Skin Ink is definitely one of them. I like their oils. They make great facial oils and you could pick for certain like skincare concerns and kind of customize your own oils to make your own um, like set that's tailored to like your skin type which is awesome so I like skin ink and drunk elephant is definitely a top one that I'm definitely gonna be purchasing during the sale I'm gonna get their um, Hydra B moisturizer I freaking love that I picked it up in last year's sale and I ran out of it during the year and I've been missing it so much and I haven't repurchased it like since last year just because it's a little pricey for a moisturizer and um, I don't know so I'm definitely gonna pick that one up Again, because I really did love it. It's like a gel moisturizer, so it's really light on the skin. And it kind of just like calms my redness a little bit. And it just feels really, really, really great. It's not too heavy on my skin. That's why I like it. So I would recommend probably anything from Drunk Elephant. They make really good stuff and very skin-friendly ingredients. I also recommend the brand, um, I think it's Corez or Coors. I think it's, I think it's Coors. I'm not sure. No, I think it's Corez. <laughs> I had to got their, their Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Oil, which is absolutely amazing, and that's also a little pricey as well, but it's such a great freaking oil. It really brightens up the skin, and vitamin C is so good for your skin. So that's one of the best, like, um oils that I've ever tried so I'm probably gonna pick that one up in this sale as well so anything from Carez is really great and then Origins I love 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 Origins products um, one of my favorite things I've recommended in like every Sephora <laughs> VIB sale and like in all my videos is the Origins um, drink up intensive overnight mask let me tell you if you have dry skin this will honestly change your freaking life forever um, I actually used it today because I was having some like dry patches issues on my forehead which happens to me a lot and in the winter time my skin gets super super dry and I had purchased this I think it was in the sale last year and I will forever be thankful to the person who recommended this to me it was actually one of you guys in the comments um, I was talking about like dry skin one day and someone recommended this to me and it when I got it it blew my mind it's one of those products that gives you instant results so like the minute you put this on your skin drinks it up and your dry patches literally go away it's the craziest thing but it really does truly work and I got this like last year like I said and I haven't even broken into like half the bottle you need the smallest amount because it's such a creamy emollient product and very thick so like a little tiny bit goes a long way so this is worth every single cent okay so I want to move on to the palettes category some of the palettes that I have that I truly recommend and and some palettes that I'm looking into getting on my wish list. Um, so the first palette I want to talk about is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This palette I've definitely mentioned probably in my last Sephora B sale um, recommendations, but it's just the all-time best like everyday kind of neutrals palette. You have some warm tones and some also cooler tones, nice transition shades, and then this is like obviously my favorite <laughs> transition shade of all time. This is just a great everyday type of palette. And then the other palette by Tarte that's on my wish list is the new Tartlet Toasted palette. I'll include like a little picture here. It's kind of like the same setup as the In Bloom palette, same number of shadows and everything except it's a more warm tone palette which is definitely up my alley I love to work with warm tones and then I also recommend the any of the Anastasia palettes are phenomenal I think they're all like awesome quality the modern renaissance palette I love which I have and I use like every single day you guys if you watch my channel I would use this all the time the um, subculture palette and prism palette are super cool options if you like to experience with a little bit of color uh, I mean experiment with a little bit of color. They have great pops of color. And then also from Anastasia, I really 100% recommend the lip palette. If you're like a working makeup artist, or even if you're not and you just like 
like all different types of lipstick a lot, all different colors. This is an awesome palette. You have some really beautiful shades in here. I get a ton of use out of this palette in my professional kit. And then you also have the primary shades in there, which you might not use if it's just like an everyday kind of palette. But if you're a working artist, you can mix the primary shades with any of these colors to custom create different shades and lighten them and darken them and just mix any of these shades together. So this is an awesome lip palette. And the formula, it's a matte formula, and these um, lipsticks do hold up very, very well. They last a long time on the lips, so I definitely recommend this palette. I hope they come out with more of them because I would definitely buy all of them. I love that. And then another palette that I recommend that's not like eyeshadows is the Tarte Blush um, palette. If they come out with one like every single year around the holidays. This is like a blush limited edition set, so they're always like limited edition. I think there's 10 shades in this one. I'll like put a picture up here somewhere. Um, they have really, really great shades, and Tarte blushes are like my absolute favorite blushes in the entire world. I always grab a Tarte blush set um, for the sale or at just like around the holidays whenever they come out with them. I always grab the Tarte blushes because they're just my favorite blushes. Like, I feel like they're kind of like the only blushes I use. I love Tarte blushes. So that's pretty much it for palettes. There's obviously a ton of great palettes out right now for the holidays, but those are just like the ones that I definitely recommend and that you won't be disappointed with like at all. Okay, so moving on to the sets category. Sephora comes out with a ton of great like value and gift sets around the holiday season and perfect timing for the sale because you can grab them as gifts for people that you need to get gifts for, for like around Christmas time and stuff, or just for yourself. So some of the sets I'm looking at are the perfume sampler. The perfume sampler is always awesome. Um, it comes with a bunch of different samples and it's $65. And then after you try out all the different samples, you can go back to Sephora and get a free full size perfume of any of those um, scents that came with it, which is super cool. So it's kind of like a discounted perfume because usually the perfumes, like the full sizes are more expensive than the $65. So you're getting a good deal there. There. And it comes with a couple of really good scents that I've already liked in there. I like the Chloe one and the Marc Jacobs Daisy come in that set and I love both of those scents so um, I definitely recommend that. I'm probably going to pick that up as well. So also for sets, Stila always comes out with really really great um, sets during the holidays. So one of their best sets right now is definitely with their um, like glitter and glow eyeshadows which are the liquid eyeshadows that are super super glittery and amazing and I absolutely love these. Like. I'm sure you guys have seen them, but just like check that out. It's just like straight up foiled liquid glitter and they go on the eyes and stay on amazingly. They just look very, very striking and beautiful on the eyes. So they did come out with, I think, two sets. Um, one is called the Written in the Stars Glitter and Glow set and that comes with the shades Diamond Dust, Kit and Karma, and Smoky Storm. So I'm definitely picking up that set. Um, in the sale for myself that's on my wish list and then Stila has another set um, which includes more of these glitter and glow eyeshadows but the other one they have is this one it's called the eyes for elegance set and it comes with three more of these guys and then it also has a sneak peek of three of the new shimmer and glow shades launching in the spring so the shimmer and glow shades are new formulas that they came out with that are just like liquid eyeshadows so I don't think they're like the straight up glitters, but they're just like regular liquid eyeshadows, which is really cool. So you get a sneak peek into three of those shades as well. So this shade that I swatched is called Smoldering Satin, and I really love that one. And then I also have Molten Midnight, which is like a black with silver reflex in it. This one's really cool as well. If you like to do more like smoky eyes and intense dark eyes, this one's cool to have. And then also by Stila, I recommend their liquid lipstick set. Um, their liquid lipsticks in general are one of my favorite formulas, so I always like to pick up one of their holiday sets with the liquid lipstick minis. So in this set, it's called the Star Studded 8 Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Set. So you get eight different shades, and I actually saw this um, set in stores and I was watching it and playing with it, and the shades are really, really beautiful. And then with this set, you also get two new um, like shimmer shades. One's like red and one's more pink, and the red one is seriously to die for. I think it would be awesome on the lips around like Christmas time and the holidays. It's really, really gorgeous. I was swatching it. I think you get like a really great shade range there. You have some nudes and some darks and the shimmers. So I think this set is really, really cool. So for lipstick, I would definitely recommend that one. All right, so let's move on to foundations. All right, so you guys know like foundation reviews are my freaking thing here on my channel. I'm always doing foundation reviews and trying foundations. So all the foundations I'm gonna mention, I've done a review for except one. So I'm gonna link below like in the description box 
links to um, like my separate review videos because I don't want to go too in depth because this video is already going to be pretty long. So you guys can check out like each individual um, review if you're interested in that foundation. So I definitely recommend checking out the Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. That one is really, really good. I love that. Um, if you have really dry skin, just beware. It is super, super matte. Um, and then the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I like to pick that one up during the sale because I love it and it's pretty pricey. I mean, it's up there in the foundation price range. So that one's a good one um, to look into during the sale. The Hourglass Vanish Stick, I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite foundations in the entire world um, for like a cream stick formula. Um, it just looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. And also the new um, Huda Beauty Foundation is a really, really great one as well. And I do have a review for that one as well. And the one I don't have a review for that I do recommend is the Bare Minerals Original Formula Foundation. I just mentioned this in my um, current favorites video. I used to use this foundation all the time, like years ago. It was like my go-to, and I kind of just forgot about it as I was trying so many different things. But I recently picked it back up, and I like I love it. It's perfect for every day, just like on the go. Just buff the powder on your face, and it just looks beautiful on the skin. Conceals all your imperfections, and it just like blurs your pores and looks amazing on your skin. So if you're into more powder foundations, I definitely recommend checking out that one. So go check out those reviews if you want like in-depth information about like which skin types I recommend them for and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to do one more category. This is like the miscellaneous category, which is just like random products that I recommend to pick up during the sale. So I definitely recommend Anastasia brow products. I think you just like cannot go wrong with picking those up during the sale just because they're my personal fave and I think pretty much everyone's personal favorite brow products. They make awesome brow products. The Brow Wiz, the Dip Brows, the Brow Wiz is my favorite. I just think you cannot go wrong with her brow products. And then with all this makeup wearing and makeup using, we definitely need some brush cleaner. So I 100% recommend the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I'm so glad you can get this on Sephora now because prior to that, um, it was something you could only get from like their website or on like theatrical makeup websites. So this is really cool. This is the best brush cleaner of all time. It's a quick drying brush cleaner so you can just dip your brush in it or they have the smaller option. You can spray your brush with it. If you want to get this, you don't have to get like the huge thing, even though I recommend this, especially if you're a working makeup artist. I go through these like water. Um, it's crazy, but you just dip your brush in it, wipe it on a rag or a paper towel, and it's dry in like five seconds, and you can reuse the brush. I'm pretty sure I mentioned these in my last Sephora Via B sale um, recommendations as well, but I want to mention them again because they came out with new shades, which is amazing because this is my favorite makeup product of all time. These are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners. Oh my god, these are just everything. These are the best um, liquid glitter liners I've ever used because they don't flake off, they hold up throughout the day, and they just, oh, these colors are everything. So this one is Midnight Cowboy, and then Glam Rock in the middle, and then Grind on the end, the pink one. So other than that, I can definitely go on forever and talk about a million other products, but unfortunately YouTube only allows me like 15 minute uploads with my subscriber count. So if you do want me to talk about more products and have longer videos, like this video and subscribe and get my subscriber count up so I can have bigger, longer uploads for you guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, do it. So I had to narrow it down and kind of pick the ones that just really stuck out to me and the ones I know you guys won't be disappointed with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like this video before you leave and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.